Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride 3. Now we're going to look at bike customization now. Um, both the uh, upgradable components of the bike and we're going to have a look at the uh, livery editor as well. So this is the bike which I will be starting career with and that career video will be up a bit later on. So we're going to go and look at the components. So we've got five different categories and we're starting off with the engine. So... ECU. So we have got a bit of money to spend at the moment, so I will be doing some upgrades for now. I won't be able to do everything because I, I won't have enough, but air filter. So ECU and air filter are exactly the same as Ride 2. So nothing new yet. Cylinder head port in, that's the same as Ride 2 as well. So we know what that's all about. Uh, that's a bit too expensive at the moment, so we won't do that. High quality oil, that's the same as Ride 2 as well. And then we go to exhausts. So, we've got a few exhausts to choose from. And the most expensive one is the best option, so that's what we're going to go with. And then we go down to friction reduction. Now, this is something new. So... That's 1,500 or stage 2 is 4 grand. We haven't got enough really to do stage 2. So we'll do stage 1 of uh, friction reduction. And then we've got racing pistons which is something new as well. 2,500. Uh, racing rods. That's new as well. That's 2 grand. Um, crankshaft balancing. That's new as well. And the next one's new. So yeah. Valve tuning. So quite a bit you can do to the engine to upgrade your bike. So that is the engine. Let's look at gearbox now. So gearbox itself, use a, uh, well, you can go to a racing one and do the gear ratios. Quick shifter, that's the same as ride two. Well, so is the uh, gearbox. Uh, chain, yeah, just go for a slightly better chain. It's very cheap as well. Same as ride two. Um, brakes and suspension. So this is all going to be very familiar. Uh, brake kit 2 is going to be the best brake, so we'll go with that. Uh, brake pads, so they're not too expensive either, so we'll go with them. Again, a lot of it is very familiar. So, I mean, I can't afford everything, but brake lines. So I have noticed that we can't choose the colour of anything at the moment. Usually in Ride 2... You would uh, pick your component and then it would give you a list of colours. That doesn't seem to happen at this stage. So I'm wondering whether that happens when we go to the livery editor or something. So mirrors. Um, I want to take them off really. That used to be right at the beginning. But I'm guessing it's, yeah, it's right at the end now. Remove mirrors. That used to be like the first option. Um, breaking clutch levers. So you can do custom ones. Triple clamp. Do a custom one. Okay, so it's saying custom. I'm, I'm wondering if that means that we're going to be able to um, change the colour of them if they're custom. Grips. More or less what you would expect. So that's that. Uh, plate and indicators. Okay, so that's right at the beginning, but that's... Yeah, so remove them. Okay, and then wheels. So we got real whim styles. Yeah, just can't really. Well, I, I can afford it, but I'm going to save my money for the moment because we want to do uh, slick tyres. I found in Ride 2 that was uh, one of the, the most... Uh, useful upgrade is having slick tires so there we go that is the components i'm going to do for now we haven't really got much money so now we will go to livery editor now we've got pink parts is that going to be the custom parts yep we want that the honda yeah here we go so when you choose custom parts for your your bike you go into here and now you got a a wider selection of colours that you can paint them as well. I mean, the chain you could only used to have um, like silver or gold, so it's nice to have a, a nice selection. 
Same with the uh, the brake cables, broken clutch levers, and the triple clamp as well, and obviously the other things. So I'm going to attempt to do a livery. Um, I will eventually speed up time if it starts taking too long. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but this, these are the kind of things you get. Um, it is fairly similar to like uh, the Forza uh, livery editor. And I know that people that are good at doing liveries are going to be right at home with this one. So we're going to go to new project. Use the Honda. Ah, now you can pick your fair and base colour. Which is good because I want it to be black. Because I'm going to be doing the, uh, the colours that I usually use. Is that matte black? That doesn't look very shiny. Um, you can switch the background colour as well. Ah, there we go. Glossy metal. There we go. Nice and shiny. So now we can get on with actually doing a livery. Like I said, I will speed this up if it takes me a bit too long. In fact, I will probably speed it up because I, I, I don't know how long it's going to take me. So I'm going to do something around the front to begin with. Okay, this is Robbo from the future. Um, just speeding up the livery editor because it did take me quite a while. And it, it's not like overly exciting what I do. But yeah, I just thought I'd speed it up because it, it took me a little while just to get, get in the swing of things and work out where everything was. Um, so at the moment, just putting stuff on the front. Just add in layers. And then I realise actually the, the R needs to be more to the left. And then all the rest can move over. I did find that the light shining off the bike is a little bit annoying when you're trying to do a livery. Um, yeah, it de definitely a little bit annoying. But... Okay, so now I'm going to do the side part. Just trying to get it all lined up nicely. And now it took me absolutely ages to figure out how the hell to get it on the other side as well. Because first of all, I can I, I cut something, but it wouldn't let me delete the cut. Um, so I had to back out and get back in. Um, and I wanted to copy the right hand side of the bike over to the left and it took me ages to figure out how to do it. And I was like, have I really got to do it manually again and then it won't line up properly? But um, eventually I managed to figure out that uh, when you get your layer you can go on mirror. And I, I, I was a bit worried that I was just going to mirror it on, on the side and put it the other way but it did do it on the other side. So that is how you put it on the other side and uh, not have to worry about lining it up exactly. It does it for you. And then I didn't really do too much else. Just done a little thing on the uh, tailpiece. So yeah, I, I made pretty much the, the back of it red. Just using a red square. Um, so nothing exciting there. And then I put something on top. Um... And then I change the camera angle. And when you do this, the controls don't change with it. So you'll see me struggling to get it in position because, um, yeah, the controls are almost like mirrored when you, you're doing it that way. Because it is the camera's been changed, but the controls don't change with it. So it took me a little while to... Uh, I actually lost the number four and couldn't find where it was. And then I had to kind of reset the X and Y axis back to zero. And then eventually I found it. So there is the four. Literally just put an R46 on the back and the front. Robo 46. Um, yeah, so livery editor. I can see people losing a lot of time in livery editor. Making some replicas and stuff like that. So looking forward to seeing what people come up with. Um, so I saved it. But it didn't actually apply it to the bike. I was like, why is that not applied to the bike? And then, again, tried to uh, apply it, but it wouldn't apply. And then I actually figured out that when you do a livery, um, 
you have to save and share it and then it applies it to your bike so you go on save project and share livery and that puts it online for other people to download so you can download this livery if you want it is online and available to download um, and yeah so went on confirm and then yeah there we go do you want to apply this livery so you have to share it to apply it um, yeah and there we go that is the livery that I will be using at the start of career mode and that will be in the next video guys so uh, yeah just a little look at the livery editor and the bike customization um, like I said I didn't want to spend too long in livery editor otherwise I would have yeah literally just spent ages in there but anyway guys that's it from me thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more content and I shall see you guys in the next video see you